An answer as to why a Portland streetcar derailed and hit two vehicles along Southeast Grand last month, injuring one person. The Portland streetcar director tells us it was a mechanical issue. Lisa Balick is live in Northwest Portland with details. Lisa? Yeah, I want to show you something. This is a controller like the one that was inside that streetcar that went off the rails. Now, what happened is there was a screw that got loose inside this device, and that what they say is what caused all the problems back on May 24th. A screw got loose in this device, which controls the streetcar's speed. That screw lodged in the handle mechanism. Now, that prevented the operator from stopping the streetcar. In fact, the operator had reported to dispatch just before the accident that the handle was sticking and having a problem. Going forward, they're making some changes to prevent the loose screw. From moving forward, we're going to be using a, a product called Loctite to keep the screw in the position it's supposed to be. That does what? Um, that essentially locks the screw in the, in the position. It's essentially a type of glue. Now, the Portland Streetcar says they are now in the preventative maintenance plan. They will make sure the specific screw involved is regularly inspected. It's inside the controller housing. That streetcar is still out of commission. Six other ones, I'm told, that have the same type of device in them have been inspected, and they have been ruled perfectly fine. That's why they are still out on the line. But again, that one that had the problem decommissioned for now. The investigation, though, is still going on. Obviously, the federal government's involved, as well as the state, taking a look at all this to make sure it doesn't happen again. Live in Northwest Portland, Lisa Valek, Coin6 News. Yeah, just amazing that one loose screw could cause all that problem. A little disturbing, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks.